Test, test, test. This is a terrain making test. In this video we built a Gothic chapel out of various materials. And to be able to work a bit more accurately, we use these printable templates in 28mm tabletop scale. The walls of the building are made of foam board. With a little water and a sponge, the cardboard layer can be removed easily. I wanted to try out whether the foam underneath can also be stamped well with a pencil. We'll see. Next, the wall segments are prepared and glued to the foam board. Sint PVA glue is the perfect adhesive for this job. The walls are cut out very simply and precisely. Now you can transfer the layout of the windows onto the foam with a pencil technique. The paper of the template can be easily removed afterwards with a little water. The roof needs a substructure made of thin corrugated cardboard, for which there is of course also a suitable template. Now cut the roof out of solid cardboard and adjust the size if necessary depending on the thickness of the material that you used for the walls. Prepare a recess for the tower of the chapel. Here too you should measure on the model. Sometimes you just need a strip of adhesive tape. Then the template for the roofing is glued on. The copper sheets of the roof are made of thinner solid cardboard. The more you cut away from the printed line, the bigger the gap between the sheets will be. For the door I resorted to hard foam, because I wanted the frame to protrude a little from the foundation wall. Note: Hard foam or Styrodur XPS is uh, much more suitable than the inner material of the foam board. Thanks to the template, it fits perfectly straight away. The chapel will be plastered later, but in one or the other place you should still be able to see the bricks. Supporting pillars uh, are glued to the corners. And now it is time to plaster the walls. I use conventional wall filler and some acrylic paint. The dabbing creates an interesting texture on the surface. Finally, I was not really satisfied with the windows. Gothic window arches should, should look a bit more symmetrical in my opinion. So I quickly printed out new templates and made uh, all the windows from 2mm thick cardboard again. The cardboard is sealed with diluted wood glue. That way it doesn't get soaked up so quickly.
and then take out the old windows and put in the new ones. One coat of putty and you're done. The next step is uh, the spire and the roof. A few rivets and other details, preferably with lots of skulls, make the model directly more interesting. Scrape off some plaster and uh, model more brickwork. The base is uh, made of styrofoam and has an opening where an LED tea light can be placed to light up the model atmospherically from the inside. Shape the base with your fingers, but uh, make sure you mark the position of the building. A few dead bushes and trees give the whole scene even more atmosphere. And finally, structure the base with a paste of putty, glue and sand. Have fun with crafting.